If you're watching this right now, you have dreams and aspirations to become a professional basketball player. I'm here to tell you that it's very achievable. Start focusing on yourself so you can get the desired outcome that you want for your life. If you click this video, you have dreams and aspirations of becoming a pro hooper. And I'm here to tell you that you can definitely achieve that. If you follow these simple principles, you're going to get yourself one step closer of becoming the professional athlete that you see yourself becoming in the future. And today, if nobody told you that you can do it, I'm here to tell you that you can do it. Here are the five steps needed to becoming a pro hooper. Step one, you need to identify your goals. So you need to sit down, get a piece of paper and a pen and ask yourself, what do you want? What kind of player do you see yourself becoming in the future? How much will you be getting paid? What league will you be in? Once you've sat down and wrote these goals down, you then need to acknowledge where you are as a person, then set reasonable, attainable goals that will get you closer and closer to your goal. I need to firstly acknowledge where I am, what level I'm playing in, the things I'm capable of doing. One goal that I could set myself is eating properly. So eating the right amount of food that I need for myself and preparing high protein or high carb snacks for before or after my workouts. Once you've done this, step two is make yourself a plan. And a plan is a system that works for you, that helps you get through the process that you need to go through in order for you to achieve those goals that you set. And the plan that you make for yourself, you're going to need to be able to execute that plan on a consistent basis. So you cannot say make a thousand shots a day when you know that realistically you won't be able to do that. So at the beginning, you may be only able to shoot a hundred shots a day and that's completely fine. If you do that on a consistent basis, you'll be able to shoot 500 shots in a week. And once that becomes the standard, that's when you can go from 100 shots a day to 200 shots a day. So in a week, instead of making 500, you'll be making a thousand which is double and that's on a consistent continuum instead of shooting 1,000 shots on Monday and then Tuesday comes around and you run out of time you can only put up maybe 700 that process and system of where you are won't be as consistent as starting off at a level you know you can be consistent in and then raise the bar on yourself also consistently and the third step after you made all these plans is to take action you need to take action it's fine writing goals and it's fine making a plan and a system and a process but if you don't take any action there's no point of any of it so trust yourself and trust what you've written down and be able to execute on the system that you've created for yourself step four is getting into the right environment so you if you have lazy people around you if you have people that like going out parties if you like people that drink and smoke and you know that that doesn't align with the goals that you want to achieve you need to be able to remove yourself from that environment and put yourself in an environment where you can thrive and grow so put yourself around people that are also on the same journey as you so you can learn from each other and push each other to get higher and higher it's very very important that you put yourself in a position where you can grow because environment plays a huge part and step five is find a mentor and by finding a mentor i mean find somebody that is where you want to be and they've already gone through their own process and system. And once you do that, you need to be able to listen to them because they know something that you clearly do not know. Pick their brain and understand what they did to get themselves into that position so you can also do the same thing. And in order for any of these to work, you need to be able to change your mindset because it all starts from your mindset. That's the foundation of everything. Challenging your limited self-belief. So you may not believe that you can become a professional basketball player because either you're really skinny or you're not tall enough you're not strong enough, you're not smart enough. Those are lies that you're telling yourself that are not true and it's holding you back. You also need to be able to let go of your ego or challenge your ego because sometimes your ego will try and protect you from growing because that's its job. But if you're not growing, you're dying. So it's your choice. Either challenge your ego and step out of your comfort zone or stay in comfort and remain average. Another important part of your mindset is your mental health. As young men, we're not really taught how to express our feelings in a masculine way. Are there any issues that are holding you back from becoming the player that you see yourself in the future? Because one thing that we don't understand is your mental health holds you back from a lot of things. So if mentally I am healthy and I'm doing well, all these things that I need to do in terms of becoming the player that I want to be in the future or achieving any kind of success that I see myself attaining. Mental health gets in the way of that because it, it distorts our reality. We don't really focus on the present moment. We're either thinking about the past or we're thinking about the future. And that really distorts our mindset. And lastly, your self-image. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as the best version of yourself every day? Or do you see yourself as being worthless or not deserving? This plays a huge part on the amount of success you're going to reach in your overall life, how you see yourself. You need to be able to see yourself in a positive light instead of a negative light because that also plays a massive role on the mindset that you have behind any success that you want to achieve in your life. If you really understand these principles and the mindset you need to have behind becoming a professional athlete, there's nothing that will be able to stop you from achieving the goals that you want to achieve in the future.
If you change your mind, you will change your life. Like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other valuable information that I'm willing to put out there. Don't rest at the middle, rest at the end.